Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald. This is the second movie in the five part Fantastic Beasts movie series. Let's break down the trailer. <laughs> If you're catching me for the first time, my name is Tejas and this is The Squibbler and I am not a professional film or trailer reviewer. However, my channel is focused mainly on Harry Potter content, so if you guys are interested in the upcoming mobile games, Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery and Wizards Unite, be sure to subscribe. I will be covering those games in the very near future. Okay, before we break down this trailer bit by bit, let's look at the synopsis of this movie. At the end of the first film, the powerful dark wizard Gellert Grindelwald was captured by Makusa with the help of Newt Scamander. But making good on his threat, Grindelwald escaped custody and has set about gathering followers most unsuspecting of his true agenda to raise pure blood wizards up to rule over all non-magical beings. In an effort to thwart Grindelwald's plans, Albus Dumbledore enlists his former student Newt Scamander who agrees to help, unaware of the dangers that lie ahead. Lines are drawn as love and loyalty are tested, even among the truest friends and family, in an increasingly divided wizarding world. Okay, so the first scene of this trailer, we see our beloved Hogwarts. And then on the bridge, we see a few wizards apparating into Hogwarts. Now, we know that apparition is not allowed at Hogwarts, but was that rule only implemented after Dumbledore became headmaster? Because at this point he was not, he was just a normal transfiguration teacher, so... Hmm, interesting. Then we have this group of wizards who came to Hogwarts to visit Dumbledore. Um, they look pretty much like ministry officials who are in search of Newt Scamander, who probably did something wrong for them to be searching for him in the first place. They say that they have a lead on him and that he is headed to Paris and that he's working under Dumbledore. Then we get this really cool scene where we see the Deluminator in action. I can't really tell who is the one using it, probably Dumbledore because he's the owner of it, but you never know. It might be Newt who's using it, might be someone else. Now in the background of the trailer, we hear at this point in time Dumbledore, probably Dumbledore, I'm not, I can't put my finger on who it is exactly, but probably Dumbledore is talking to Newt in this scene where he says to pick a side. So obviously he's telling him that hey, there's Grindelwald, hey, there's me, and you know, good or evil, you choose which side you want to be on. So Newt is going to have to decide. And then over here we see the funniest part of the trailer where Newt tells Jacob that they're together going on an adventure. Ah, I love Jacob. Now in this next scene we see Claudia Kim's character on the rooftop with some person. She has some black things coming out of her some weird thing going on over there. Now her character has been named as an unidentified Maledictus. Now I don't know much about Maledictus but taking this information from the Harry Potter wiki page, we can see that a Maledictus is an individual whose blood was cursed, eventually leading them turning into a beast. So that's somewhat similar to a werewolf but also reminds me of the Obscurus which we saw in the first film. Speaking of Obscurus, we see that the person sitting beside Claudia Kim's character over here on the rooftop is probably The Flash. I'm just kidding, his name is Credence in the movie. So that's probably him over there and we see him acting all scared and whiny like he always is. Now in this next scene over here, we see the inside of some building. It looks like some kind of a planetarium of some sorts. And if you look closely actually, we can see the names of certain beasts that uh, are existent in the Harry Potter universe. We can see dragons, we can see Nundu, centaurs, and Doxy. So this place is probably, you know, filled with magical creatures and stuff and I'm actually really excited and curious to find out more about this place. It really looks really very cool. It might be a magic zoo, a magic zoo as they call it. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks dope. In this scene over here we see Newt riding on a mer person. So I'm not sure if exactly this is a mer person from the mer people we see in the Goblet of Fire movie. In this scene over here, we see what are probably Thestrals. Yes, we can see these are dead looking horses over here and when they jump off of this building, they sprout their wings, which is very Thestral-like. So it looks like we're gonna be seeing Thestrals in this movie. In this scene over here, towards the end of the teaser trailer, we see Dumbledore asking for Newt's 
help. He says that he is unable to go up against Grindelwald alone or for whatever reason he's unable to go up against Grindelwald and he is recruiting Newt's help for that. We end off the trailer with this really epic scene where Newt and another wizard here aim their wands at the ground and this huge line cracks open and this red light comes out of it. <laughs> I have zero clue about what this is but it looks really, really amazing. Finally, the trailer ends with the Deathly Hallows symbol appearing. And obviously we know that the Fantastic Beasts movies are going to end with Dumbledore and Grindelwald fighting against each other. So obviously this has a lot to do with the Deathly Hallows. Potentially we might see one of the Hallows in this movie. My guess is that we will see the Elder Wand in this movie because we know that Grindelwald takes the wand from Gregorovich right around this time period. So that's it guys, that's pretty much it for the trailer breakdown for Crimes of Grindelwald. I'm super excited for this movie to come out once it does in November. We're about 8 months away now and I am... I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this movie. I'm really excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below some of your theories and what you guys think will happen in this movie. Let's theorize people. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.